Hey guys, happy Sunday. I got up, did my blogilates routine. Halfway got ready. I'm pseudo dressed. I'm wearing my house coat, which reminds me, I want to get some more things like this because I wear this all the time. Oh, I have the air conditioning on so cold that I need something like this, but then I don't want to wear just a sweatshirt all the time because when I go to take it off, it messes up my hair, which let's face it, I spend so much time styling my hair that matters. Anyways, yeah, that's what's going on. And I posted to my Instagram, my weekly uh, Q and A post. So every Sunday over on Instagram, I post a photograph saying, hey, in the comments, leave whatever miscellaneous skincare questions you have. And then throughout the week, I try and answer as many as I can on my stories. And I save them as a highlight. So if you wanna go back and look through them, you can do that. But a question that I got this morning was about uh, what is the best thing to do to help with healing of cuts and scrapes and burns? And the best thing to do is to keep the area clean just with plain water, uh, you know, rinse it out and moist and covered. The reason for this is that, you know, obviously cleaning it, you wanna get any bacteria that may have been introduced into the wound, at least superficially, out. Uh, like if you scrape, fell and scraped your knee, for example, um, you wanna do that. And the reason to keep it moist is because as part of wound healing, skin cells need to migrate in to cover, cover that air, that abrasion. And if you let the scrape get dry and form a scab, then it can't, they can't do that. And so you have to keep the area moist. And the best way to do that is a good old 100% Vaseline petroleum, 100% petroleum jelly, like Vaseline. I have this big tub here, so versatile. Yeah, put that on and it really helps with healing. As a matter of fact, that is actually superior to antibiotic ointments. Yeah, for most garden variety scrapes and burns as well, you don't need to put an antibiotic ointment on the on the wound um, because, you know, antibiotics that you buy in the drugstore, they're honestly, the antibiotic ointments, they're not that good. Like they're not really very broad spectrum. And by broad spectrum, I mean, they don't really cover a good breadth of different microorganisms. They're, so they're, they're not that great to begin with. And they're really a common cause of allergic contact dermatitis, especially Neosporin. Gosh, I hate Neosporin. That should be taken off of the market. Yeah, uh, topical antibiotic ointments are not helpful for like routine scrapes and cuts because they don't really do, do anything. And there have been studies comparing um, petrolatum, like Vaseline, to antibiotic ointments applied at the time of surgery to surgical wounds. And <clears throat> the studies show no difference in terms of healing outcomes and infection risks, um, but people who get antibiotic ointments are more likely to develop contact dermatitis, whereas petrolatum is not something that people become allergic to. So it's a much better option and very inexpensive. Yeah, petroleum jelly has so many, so many, uses i i feel like everybody should have this <laughs> in their home it's really it's really very versatile you can use it for cuts for scrapes it's great to your lips um as like a lip balm and it is great for really really dry patches um, it's just a skin protectant so anytime you have an area that's super dry and is losing a lot of water out of the skin that will just kind of act as second skin and it's also really good if you happen to get a tattoo. We talked about that in my tattoo video. It's good for to apply to tattoos. I would say as far as its ability to act as a moisturizer, really the only thing that it does is seal in transepidermal water loss. It doesn't have any humectants in it. <clears throat> so it doesn't it doesn't help with holding with add, kind of adding hydration to the skin, um, but it can seal in the water that you already have. Yeah, it's just very good. Um, I often put it in my nose. I, I know I talk about using um, personal lubricants in my nose a lot, because I get a dry, I, my nose gets really dry and I'm susceptible to nosebleeds. I have this one like really fickle 
um, little capillary in my nose my whole life. That bad boy just busts open all the time, randomly. If I get emotional, sometimes I'll have a nosebleed. <laughs> if, yeah, I mean, it's just random. Um, and so I have to kind of stay on top of it by keeping the skin inside my nose moist. It just, moist, I know people hate that word. It just helps uh, reduce the nosebleeds. Uh, but Vaseline I, I, is something I've always used as well in my nose, so it works well for that. Yeah, so many uses for Vaseline. Now, cuts and scrapes and bug bites and things, they certainly can become, be, become infected, especially if they're itchy and you scratch. If you're scratching, then that can introduce bacteria into the wound and can cause something called impetigo, which is a little superficial staph infection that uh, is treated with an antibiotic ointment. Um, and you know, if you have a cut or a scrape or a bug bite or something, um, from the get-go, just keeping it clean and covered with Vaseline is a good way to prevent bacteria from being introduced. Um, but I wanted to clarify that, you know, not all antibiotic ointments obviously are bad. They're, high, they're very useful. And in the setting of things that become impetigenized, as it's called, getting, you know, impetigo, then they are needed. But yeah, using petrolatum can, can keep them clean and prevent that. Yeah, impetigo is really common in young children, especially on the lower legs. I, as a matter of fact, when I was a little little girl, I got impetigo because I had eczema. Um, my eczema was really crazy when I was a child. Um, and so having eczema predisposes you to impetigo um, because you have an impaired skin barrier and a lot of times if the eczema is flaring as mine was, the time I got impetigo, you know, it's open skin, bacteria can get in, plus eczema is so itchy that you're always scratching. And so it's very common for young children to get impetigo, especially those with eczema. Yeah, you see, unlike Aquaphor or some other skin protectants, um, Vaseline is just petroleum jelly, and that's not something people become allergic to. Aquaphor has lanolin in it, and people with eczema often can become, not often, it's not like super common, but they can become allergic to that. So Vaseline is like, like a much better option. Uh, Vaseline though, it's not like gonna add moisture to your skin, as I said. So it's good for people with eczema to put on like open eczema areas, but they still need to use like a moisturizing cream on a daily basis to kind of keep on top of their skin barrier issues, if that makes sense. But yeah, Vaseline is really useful in the eczema. If you have eczema, Vaseline is, is really useful in your skincare armamentarium. <laughs> yeah, so if you're into Instagram, please consider following me over there. I have a lot of fun. Uh, answering your questions on the, I, I answer them on stories, which basically, if you're not familiar with Instagram, if you just uh, tap on the my face, on my profile, it will take you to the stories. And stories only last 24 hours, but if you save them as a highlight, they'll last longer. So that's what I've been doing with, with that. And I share other like random stuff on there. Um, so if you're into Instagram, Please consider following me over there. I think you would enjoy them. Anyways, boy, you guys are heavy. <laughs> I had high hope. So I had high hopes for this day, although I burned about 15% of it this morning going down the Etsy rabbit hole. I found a sticker shop. Oh my God. The sticker shop has stickers of this little character that looks like me. I mean, it doesn't look exactly like me or anything, but it has brown hair that is up in a bun and it's doing a lot of the things that I do. There's a treadmill version. There's a um, going to the post office version. So I've been adding, I'm, I'm buying more stickers basically, which I need to rein it in. Speaking of buying more stickers, let me show you these adorable stickers I just got. Yeah, last time I went down the sticker rabbit hole, I found these and I just think they're so cute. They're by a shop, Stickers by Rhonda, these little doctors. I got these because I thought they'd be cute in my planner for like clinical work um, to mark that off. I just thought this little girl was so cute. Um, yeah, the shop Stickers by Rhonda came really fast. Um, so yeah, I got those and then I'll show you guys here. This is the shop I was telling you about that has a little girl that, doesn't that little girl kind of look, not like me, but it's doing a lot of things I like, including this one that I just added to my cart, reading. 
yeah, Etsy is, is like, <laughs> gets so much of my time. I love Etsy. Anyways, I have high hopes for this day. I want to do some cleaning. I need to clean my kitchen floors and tidy up the bathroom and vacuum. And then if I get those things done, oh, and I need to put away my laundry again. It seems like I'm always... For somebody who like is not that into clothing, it seems like I am always washing clothing and putting it away. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And if I get those things done, maybe I can go out. Although it is nasty, you guys. It's like raining and it, it's actually, it was worse this morning. It was pouring down and now the sun is out. But I am almost certain it is muggy out, like super humid. And I also need to go to Kroger. I just went to Costco yesterday. I didn't go to Kroger, but I kind of need to go to Kroger because there are a few miscellaneous things that I want for the week. So we might do that. We might not, depending on how productive I am. these little nubbins have grown despite my negligence I, I have been watering it a lot more I need to pull off these dead leaves but yeah I mean it's really thriving Math. well hey guys good news I finished my chores I'm here at Tuesday morning I want to look in their little craft section because why not and then I'm gonna head over to Kroger what do we think of the pigtails <laughs> I had kind of been trying to braid my hair but instead this time I decided to just do the pigtails I don't know it's not touching my face so that's all I really care about this is kind of brilliant this garden rocker um, for doing projects it's also would be really convenient for just putting your shoes on who's getting excited for fall candles I know I am they have mostly summery scents here. Fragrance in every burn, caramel cappuccino. Doesn't this <clears throat> look delightful? Jalapeno spread. Uh, it's like jalapeno and spices and thickeners. It's vegan. I wonder if that's any good. Or a lot of the craft stuff is on sale. <clears throat> table oh aren't these cute Christmas cards Tuesday morning always has a tempting selection of yarns I like this classic shades yeah it always tries to tempt me into getting back into knitting but then I'll just end up with a ton of yarn and <laughs> dust Yeah, I don't do scrapbooking. I did a long, long, long time ago and I really enjoyed it. They have a good selection here of scrapbooking supplies. Oh, these are cute. These little Julie pumpkins. Isn't this thing cool? It's a punch board for making envelopes. You can make different envelope sizes. And it just 
will punch the lines for you and then you I guess it kind of scores the paper and you can fold it accordingly oh, that's really smart yeah I love making cards but then there's always the issue of the envelope gosh you guys this is brilliant this punch board you can punch different words you line up the whole punch words letters excuse me and two words and you can space them accordingly that is brilliant you can use it in your planner too oh cool i might have to get that it's really smart that's very clever hey guys i'm back i did swing into kroger right quick um, and I got a few things that I wanted, just like some random things. I went in there for these because they're on Ibotta and I've really been enjoying them. They're all really good. Um, so I got peach nectar, fruit punch, ginger lime, crisp apple, strawberry lemonade, and coconut pineapple. And then I got these for, <laughs> I love, I love drinking coffee all day, but I have to switch to decaf. And these are okay. My favorite are the Nescafe ones. Anyways, um, and I saw these. These are currently on Ibotta. I love Orgain, but not only are they on Ibotta, but they were also on clearance for $3.99. So I got those. And then I didn't get this at Kroger. I actually had to order it on the Amazonian, and it, and it came while I was gone. This is my favorite. The Badia Everything Bagel Seasoning, it's the best. The best one I've ever had. Like, look at the chunks of flavor goodness in there. The onion, yeah, really good. This is my favorite. I love shredded zucchini with this on it. As a matter of fact, I was gonna get, I was gonna get zucchini this week at Costco, but all of the zucchini was like funky looking, so I didn't, I didn't mess with that. I just went with, I just went with my cauliflower. Oh, but of course, that is really good on cauliflower as well. So yeah, that is what I got. But I didn't end up getting anything at at um, Tuesday morning. I, I don't know, they didn't have too much that I was interested in. Looked like their stock was kind of low, their inventory, understandable, but yeah. Oh, but you all were asking for an update on these nut pods. Now, I full disclaimer, I do not put creamer in my coffee. Non-dairy and, and pre-vegan, I never use creamer. I just, I like my coffee black. Um, but this stuff is really good drizzled on strawberries or blueberries on fruit, just as like a little topping. It's really good. And I like it because it's kind of basic ingredients and there's no sugar. Um, it doesn't have a strong caramel taste. It, it has more of a coconutty, creamy taste to it. I don't know how well it would go over in coffee, but yeah, it's, it's good outside of the coffee realm. Well, hey guys, I am gonna go to sleep. I feel pretty good because I got a lot of my house cleaning done today. It's always good on a Sunday night to go to sleep with a freshly vacuumed carpet and everything freshly scrubbed. I don't know, it's just like a good way to start the week. Um, so I'm gonna read my book. I'm really enjoying this book. It's uh, it's entertaining <laughs> to say the least. And I think I'm gonna sleep really well tonight. I did the rebounder tonight, and that always like knocks me out. But um, it's also raining out. And we're supposed to get a lot of rain tonight. Sometimes rain is peaceful, helps me sleep. But sometimes it I don't know. It kind of makes me toss and turn all night. So we'll see. <laughs> But I think I'm going to sleep well tonight. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs this weekend and that you had a good weekend. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.